long drive though. I don't know where the fuck we are. This is the kind of place we need to be hanging out, mate. Tarzi. Bet there's girls around here. Bet there is. This is literally zero income, zero GDP Romania. Like Moldovan border. Moldovan border. There's like no one here like does anything besides farm their crops and shit. Why would we go out around here? Don't know. Local pubs, probably some 18, 19 year old village girls. Please show me London. Awesome. Like show them electricity. Like I have a magical power. My lights come on without fire. Come with me. You know? I am Maybe you're right. The god of lightning. Yeah, we can be gods of lightning. We can show them our automobile. First one since fucking 1988 and the dictator rolled through. Our horseless carriage. Horseless carriage. I like that. Obviously this rant has nothing to do with me because I'm a fucking G. I remember being fucking 15 years old, man, watching Friends. I was at a girl's house. Her name was Laura, and she loved Friends. I thought I was a G, because I banged like three girls by now, so I'm a bad boy. So I'm sitting there anyway. So Laura's next on the list. Papow. I love Friends, I love Friends, oh, I love Friends. And I remember sitting there thinking, okay, you know, you gotta endure this bullshit. It's gotta be done. You know, so I'm sitting there. You're, she said, you remind me of Ross. <laughs> I said, why? So you just remind me of him. And at the time, that really offended me. I said, why? No, I don't like that. She said, why don't you like it? And I was really offended. And we ended up getting a little argument. I left. But at the time, I couldn't, although I was young, I didn't have enough life experience, I couldn't work out why that bothered me to my core. And I'll tell you why. Because Ross is a little bitch. Very funny. Ross is gay. Ha <laughs> ha. That's why. Because all the male characters in Friends aren't men. They are females in men's bodies. They act like women, they talk like women, they cry like women, they discuss like women, their world outlook is like women. It's all female bullshit to the ground. If you're like a normal ass dude, you have to live in this world where all these women think they're so, they're a prize, they're so special, they're a snowflake. Like, I'm the prize and you have to come and earn me. Earn what, bitch? You ain't worth earning. Most of these women are completely not worth earning. And they like idolize Marilyn Monroe and they read these things online about how special they are and they get these fucking egos. And they go out and they get drunk as fuck and get banged by a guy they don't know. And then they expect you to take them on a date and spend money when some other dude got to bang them for like half the WKD. Why the fuck do I have to take you on a date? He got to fuck you for free. Why, why am I, this bullshit. And then they quote, if you don't, can't handle me at my worst, you don't deserve me at my best. Even Marilyn couldn't handle herself at her worst. Because at her worst, she was a drug riddled whore who ended up fucking dead in a hotel room. And what was her best? Her best was probably the 10 minute period once a month when she's not being a naggy complaining bitch. Fuck her. So anyway, back on subject. And these girls here will be humble. You know, they'll be like, wow, electricity, wow, horseless carriage. Andrew, wow, you changed my whole life. I'm like, yes I do, I cook, I'm hungry. But like, I'm, I'm really actually, I'm really worried about bitching about women because most men who bitch about women can't get women in. I'm a G. I'm just saying, if you're a normal ass dude, the problem with being a normal ass dude, is women are like seeing all this stuff online. You got even basic ass, average ass, six out of 10 hoes, seeing girls on Instagram traveling the world with ballers and shit. Women want exciting, interesting things now. They're sitting there going, well, I want to go Dubai for free. I want to go LA for free. These aren't even hot girls. These are just normal ass girls. And, Unless you're like the top 5% of something, unless you have something unique, you're just a normal ass dude out here in a world where the woman is settled for you. You know? If you're a normal dude, you have to accept that your woman will fuck normal dudes. Which means the guy who works in Greg's is now competition. You better watch out when she's buying that sausage roll. Nowadays you have social media, you have Instagram. They're photoshopping and retouching their photos, brainwashing themselves that they're as hot as they believe they are. And all these people are liking their pictures. You've got a hundred dudes liking some average chick's picture. One hundred. Now imagine 1960, you've got some average chick and you, she's your girlfriend and she lives at your house. Where, where is she gonna get attention from a hundred dudes unless she walks down the street fucking naked? Nowhere. No one gives her attention, why? She's fucking nobody. All creatures on this planet, they exist in a, in, in a realm of, of not how they should act, they act how they can act. If a gazelle didn't have to run fast, why would it run fast? What's the fucking point? It's long. So if a girl, if a girl gets to be a basic bitch retard with a, fil with a Snapchat filter, of course she's gonna be a basic bitch retard. Why wouldn't you be? So it's not her fault. It's I just agree. the world we live in. The only weapon a man has is his attention. That's all, that's all we've got. We give our attention to get sex. And a woman gives her sex to get attention. 
The woman ain't gonna bang you. You shouldn't be giving her attention. We can be mates. No, nope. why? Why? What, you paying for the dinner? No, what the fuck are you mates for? You get to hang around with me, roll around in my car, and, and you ain't got to give me the sex. That's bullshit. Hand your money out and not get a good back, would you? It doesn't make sense. These fucking girls on Instagram, four million followers, never achieved shit in her life, done nothing with her life, stupid as fuck. S taking 150 selfies a day, choosing the one where she looks best looking, which doesn't even look like her, getting a random quote off the internet, the, your destiny is what you make it. Some bollocks. And there's four million men. You are the most beautiful girl. Like what the fuck? You have zero percent chance of fucking her. I want a man who cares about my feelings. I don't want a man who really looks after me. I want a man who says I can do anything I want. No, you don't. Because when you get one, you cheat on him with me. Fucking the world's so feminized and they're trying to feminize men. And I've got my own little conspiracy theory on why they're doing that. But the basic reason is because it makes a population easier to control. I see men sticking up for feminists. See men fake tanning. Like, oh, it's normal, I don't look good. You don't look good. Let me tell you something. There's no woman on earth who's gonna bang you because you got fake tan on, who wouldn't bang you if you didn't have fake tan on. If you had half a personality and was half a man. I remember when I was in the Big Brother house looking around and seeing everyone besides me putting on fake tan. That's the, that's the moment I knew the world was fucked. The last bastion of intelligence. The reason I get a lot of messages like on inboxes and stuff, people saying to me, oh yeah, you're a legend, da da da. And they don't want to say it in comic and public posts. All I am is living the life most men want to live. I fucking travel the world, I make money, I spend money. I fuck who I want, no one says shit to me. I got my Lambo, we're going Eurovision, whatever. And most men are desperately unhappy with the lives they're being told they should live. Give her everything, even if she's a cunt, and if she doesn't want to have sex with you ever, that's her choice, it's her body. You just gotta sit there in your sexless marriage, and you gotta look after these kids who don't appreciate you, and you gotta just sit there depressed and unhappy, you gotta pay your tax. Destroying the spirit of men to the point now, they're making divorces so unfair, so a man's afraid to leave his wife who won't cook him a meal, won't suck his dick, just sits there and complains at him. But he's afraid to leave because he'll lose everything he's ever worked for to this bitch who ain't done shit. I deserve to be happy. He doesn't have any time for you because he's fucking working 60 hours a week to pay the fucking mortgage and pay all the bills for the fucking kid. And in England, by divorce law, hi, I was in a happy marriage. I was happy. I was working. I was providing for my son. Here's my proof that my wife's been cheating on me. In America, you could divorce the fucking bitch. In England, she still gets more than half of your shit. She's been fucking someone else. That's voiding the contract of marriage. But this is the reality. Here's the absolute reality, people. Sorry, you're about to get offended. Men are allowed to fuck who they want. Men are allowed to cheat. Because there is an evolutionary and historical difference between males and females. Women, up until very recent history, couldn't go around fucking whoever they wanted because they get pregnant, A, and B, no one know who the kid's dad is. If you had a woman and it was either you or someone else who might be the baby daddy, you're not looking after her. And if you're not gonna look after a pregnant woman, she's gonna die. The baby's gonna die. That's the end of her story. So she can't run around being a hoe. Infidelity is a punishable offense. Capital in some countries. In some countries, if you're not a virgin, you're not worth anything. This is a, a hangover from history. Now in the West, we're progressive. So we've given women these free rights to do whatever they want. Contraception, blah, blah, blah. What I'm saying is there's an evolutionary and there's a historical reason why a man could run around banging and a girl couldn't. They're different things. So the reality is that most men want to live a life where they just fuck and they're with their guys and they're having fun. And have been feminized to the point where they're, they're, they're completely under the thumb of these females living these little unhappy family units because that's the only way these family units will stick together. If a man could do anything he wanted, men would run around, fuck, have kids with six or seven different chicks, probably not pay any child support, talk to the kid when it's old enough to talk, babies are boring, just run around with their boys being happy, they'll have more sex than they've ever had, they'll have more money than they've ever had. Now, I'm not saying that's the right way to be, that's not good for a government, because then the government has a whole bunch of single moms raising kids, the government can't afford that. A whole bunch of dads running all over the place being G's. So it has to, so it said, you know what, we got, we got to calm this down. Let's, let's make marriage to more than one woman illegal and let's, let's try and promote marriage with tax breaks. But now it's gone so far to the point where a man can't yell at a woman, that's domestic violence. Home and see, you can get in the house and see your girl sucking your best friend's dick. You can't scream at her, you get arrested. That's what, that's what they've done to men now. That's the world we now live in. It's absolutely ridiculous. They've removed any masculinity from being a man because when you remove a man's masculinity, you end up with an unhappy, depressed worker ant 
a little worker ant who pays taxes, who sits in his, his sexless, unhappy marriage, raising kids who don't appreciate or respect him. And that's what's good for a Western government. We don't go to war anymore. We don't need soldiers. We don't need big, strong men. You need taxes. You need money. Any element of manlyhood, from even if even you go back to the basics of school, being a man is all about competition. Evolutionary design to fight. You know, society has taught us to be a certain way. But the reality is, if you were to remove society, if a man pisses you off, you get a fucking rock, you smash his head in. That's the reality of, of, of the male instinct. Regard, I'm not saying we should do that, because society says we shouldn't. But the male instinct is, fuck you, fuck you, all right, then fuck you. That's, that's male instinct. That's why you look, as soon as you have a few drinks, go back to instinct, there's fights. But they've removed that. Removed, they've even removed competition from school. Everyone's a winner. There's no winners, there's no losers. You know, trophy, trophy for participation. No, you're not better than anyone else because you're stronger and faster. Well, yeah, I am. I ran faster. Yeah, but it doesn't make you better. It makes you better running. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Everyone's the same. Because all the teachers are female, and they have a female-led left curriculum, which that's why women do better in school than men. Even though, you know, women do better in school than men, but then you put them in the corporate world when they've used rational thinking, and they all fucking fall apart. It's bullshit, because the real world's not a leftist, pathetic playground, naughty puddle bullshit like a school is, but they've removed any competitive element from being a man from the very, very beginning. Oh, oh man, I can't, I can't be competitive, and I can never get angry, and I can never do this, and I can never have a fight, and you know, I can't never do anything, I'm just gonna grow up, and, and then one become what? Boss? 